Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Before this video starts, I'd like to ask you guys two things. Please consider liking the video, and please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps out a lot, so thank you for that. Now, let's move on with the video. So, today's video is going to be an episode on the long range forecast or the long range, long ranger, whatever you want to call it. And in general, it's just going to be a weather video about what's happening in the next three to four weeks or one to four weeks, how the weather is going to impact your area. You can see all along on my map and how the temperature is going to be, if the spring is going to come early, late. In general, this is just going to be a long range forecast outlook. So let's use a GFS. You can see GFS six hour average precipitation rate and Today is Sunday, March 25th, 2018. So this right here, this shows you the date. This is zero o'clock. So that's around, say, eight o'clock Monday or eight o'clock Sunday evening, March 20, uh, uh, 26th, 2017. Even though this is showing zero, zero, Z, it's not 12 o'clock. It's in reality. It's a couple of hours behind. So this is the date where you can follow along. Let's get right into it. So you can see there's going to be a storm, nothing major. You can see that low is not even defined. It's just a couple of waves of rain, nothing severe, a little bit of snow on the front side. And I'm not going to make a special video about this because it's just a little bit of uh, snow. And then there's a possibility of another storm developing with a cold front that could actually bring in some snow that's further south. And you can see that um, this storm really intensifies further on into Canada. However, it doesn't really impact the United States. And this is where things start getting interesting. Usually at this point, the GFS would be indicating mostly rain and warmer temperatures. However, it's not really doing that. You could see it's putting out a storm in the middle of the country. That's nothing too powerful, but you could see how far the snow gets into Kentucky. And this is April already. So keep in mind. And this, we had snow in April here in Chicago before many times, even in May, but it's just, I don't think winter is, I think winter in general is just going to stick around for a little bit longer than expected or usual. So there is another little wave that's coming through, but another wave, but nothing like a major massive storm doesn't seem likely, like in Nor'easter. But there is definitely likelihood or a potential for a mini storm or like a mini wave of snow to hit areas. But you can see later on after April, just these storms turn into all rain and no snow. So then it st finally starts warming up. And now let's go to check on the temperature anomalies. So let's rewind this back to now. And if you're wondering what the temperature anomaly is, anywhere you see blue, it's below average temperatures at a given time. Anywhere you see red, that's above average temperatures at a given time. So you can see we move this through. Generally, red and blue mixed in together. So um, quite, I would say in between. Some days are going to be warmer. Some days are going to be below average. But then you can see towards the end of the month, there's this uh, wave that just spills out from Canada. And that really d decreases temperatures below average for much of the country. However, you could see later on that dissipates and warm below above average temperature takes hold so though i think this is going to be the last true hit of winter this wave right here this wave is just going to smack down into the middle of the country i mean you can see only the west will get spared from this and so southern parts of florida so this will bring some 30s some 40s too much of the country nothing frigid but keep in mind that it is already April, so 30s and 40s are still considered way above, way below average. But you can see later on that just dissipates, and that looks to be the main story. It looks as if um, it will be below average for the next couple of weeks, but then once it warms up, it will warm up way ab above average. So the second, first part of spring may be a little bit cooler. Second part will be, I think, above average. And now let's go and check on the actual temperatures if you're wondering what the, no, this is the wrong thing, but if you're just wondering, I don't care about the anomalies, I want to see what my right place will get the actual temperatures. Let's go to 2 meters, it will give you your temperatures. So let's rewind this back to now. And you can see anywhere there's that little blue, that, that red line, that's the freezing line mark. And you can see it's quite scattered. I mean, it's, I mean, you can see winter's definitely receding. During the uh, <clears throat> winter months, this thing, could have been up to, down to Florida. So this is definitely receding up north. 
and you can see this does come back a little bit when I mentioned that little wave that I showed you above below average temperatures. You can see that does give you some um, colder temperatures. However, you can see this really starts warming up later on. I mean, you can see April 10th, 60s, 70s, 50s in Illinois, and look at the south, just 90. So definitely going to warm up a lot and after this cold. So this is the general theme of my weather pattern or of the weather outlook. The whole, the general story, the summary. First couple, next couple of weeks, I would say one to two weeks are going to be chilly, especially the breakthrough of March into April. It's going to be quite chilly, below average. However, later on, when it starts getting into mid-April or later on into April, I would say that the temperatures are going to warm up so quickly that it might even be above average temperatures in April. So this definitely does look good for both the cold lovers, because they're going to get one or two weeks of cold, and the warm weather lovers, because I don't think this will stick along for long. And so, if you're wondering how the next 8 to 14 days will play out, this is an 8 to 14 day by NOAA. And you could see below average temperatures for much of the north, but the south will have above average temperatures. And that will be for the next 8 to 14 days, keep in mind, because afterwards, I think this will flip around and the i think just much most of the country will be ab below above average temperatures i would say after say april 10th around that mark so that's pretty much it guys this isn't going to be a super long long ranger like some of the other youtubers make i just think those videos get a little bit boring so hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you learned something new again please consider liking and subscribing to my channel liking the video and subscribing to my channel and as always, guys, see you guys in the next episode.